In this video, I'm going to show you how to take a website banner image and superimpose your logo onto the articles of clothing and these bags that you see in this image. First of all, we need to open the banner in Photoshop, which we've done here. And then also we're going to load in our logo, which looks like this. Make sure to be working with a transparent background image. If you do not have one, then you'll need to drop out the background first. And once we have our image open, let's zoom in so you can see the, the old logo that we're going to replace. Most of these items of clothing either have it on the upper left chest or you'll see it on the sleeve and also on the bags. And then the image of the logo on the bags is oriented in a way proportionate to the bag and the direction it's being held. So we're going to have to do a little bit of transforming there. So what we need to start with is go back to the logo and we're going to copy and duplicate this layer many times, one for each of the items and shrink it down to the size that's proportionate to where it's currently located on those articles of clothing. So let's go ahead and duplicate here a few times. And we're going to hide the layers we're not working with. So we just size this logo down. We'll go ahead and place it on top of the bag here to start. I'm going to just shift and turn it just so slightly. All right, once that's in place, you do see the logo behind it. So I'm going to hide this layer and let's work on this real quick. You can use the rubber stamp tool and make sure you're working from the correct layer. I'm just going to hold down the Alt key and select an area that's similar in lighting. And then we're just going to copy over. You don't have to be too detailed this way because the logo is going to cover any imperfections in what we're doing here. And once you're done, we can go ahead and bring this logo back on top, and there you go. So once you're done, your file is going to look like this. You'll see that we've superimposed the logo on all the sleeves, on the sweater here, upper left chest, and also on the bag. The last step that we need to do is optimize the image, save it for the web, and that's Control-Alt-Shift-S. And we're going to save this as a JPEG at a quality 65%. Our original image was 7 megabytes, and we've reduced this down to 279 kilobytes. So this looks pretty good. We'll just go ahead and click Save, and that's it. 